everybody, welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Essential Oils for Moms. I am back and I have an amazing guest speaker. I cannot wait to introduce her. She is one of the fastest growing people on our team and in the company. She's rocking it. She's doing amazing things. She's a mom of three. She's a teacher, entrepreneur, spirit, and their family has, um, you know, their business owners by trade. And she's just like, really inspirational to women all over Pennsylvania where she's from but all over the world globally now and she's done some amazing things she hit the rank of diamond in only 11 months and just totally kicking butt but also leading with her heart and her main goal is always to help others and how can she connect with others I mean, she's pretty much the only girl that I know will walk into a Kohl's clothing store and come out with a new friend and <laughs> a new business lead. <laughs> so, yeah, so she is awesome. I mean, she just, her main goal is to be friends with that person, right? And just to create relationships and to be friends. And I think that's one of the reasons why she's so passionate about what she does. And she's, you know, just really taking a huge ownership for her business, but because she just loves what she's doing and, she just loves on her team. She believes in her team sometimes stronger than they believe in themselves. And I feel like that's part of her um, special, you know, little spark that she has for her because um, she just huge in, in belief and nurturing her team and um, using the power of duplication and just really sustaining a, a really solid business. So I am very excited to introduce you to Shelly Fuge. And Hello. Yeah, I just want you to get on here and share a little bit about you, your family, where you guys are from, and how you you know got started with the oils. Yeah, thanks. Thanks so much for that introduction. That was nice. Um, I have to share a little story before I go any farther. Um, when I was a senior in college, I auditioned for this musical, and I thought there was a very good chance I would get the lead role. Okay, keep in mind, I am not the greatest singer. I'm not the greatest dancer. But I had the belief in myself that I could go and get this lead role. Okay, this was in a college of performing arts where I was going up against like real music majors, real theater majors. And I left after that audition and I was like, dude, I totally rocked it. I'm going to get a call back for the lead role. Okay, so that's what kind of works in my mind. Okay, that's how I think. I obviously did not get the lead role. Um, I didn't get cast even as an extra. Um, but going into my doTERRA business, I believe that mindset is everything, okay? Belief in what you're able to do. Now, if that musical had been some kind of multi-level marketing or whatever, I think I would have gotten the lead role <laughs> if it had all had to do with my belief. And <laughs> let me stay, you know, yeah, right, let me bow. No, um, so I, I want to encourage everyone who's on here, okay? So if you... um. I know it sounds kind of cheesy to have this belief. Honestly, believe the impossible is possible, right? So I think we are the only limiting factors in what we do, okay? And often I think we also are, um, we're afraid to kind of step out there to get out of our comfort zone. And that's something I just naturally have not ever really had a problem with. I've always been willing to like audition for a musical I had no business auditioning for. So <laughs> Just that's the kind of idea. If you're really looking to grow your business, it takes a little bit of crazy and a lot of hard work. So those are, those are the two things that I tell people. You know, hey, if you're you're half crazy, you're definitely going to go to the top. And and that's not saying anything. <laughs> what did you say? You're qualified. If you're half crazy, you're qualified yeah. to join. Right, right. No, mm -hmm. but you know, um, you know what you had to say is true. I I do care deeply about people. Um. This process to me is so much more about other people than myself. It's not even funny. Um, and I do, the reason why I named my team Team Harmony is because I do want to have harmony between me and all the people on it. You know, whenever you have two or more people, you're going to perhaps have people problems. It happens, right? Um, especially when you have a bunch of women working together. And it is my greatest goal to have a culture where we can work things out. We can talk things out. And um, perhaps not even get to where we need to do that anyway. So from a leadership perspective, I really value transparency with my advocates. I tell them that all the time. So um, whether or not you have a team or not, if you're 
bringing on advocates if you have one, a none, the future team you'll have, or if you have a bunch of advocates. It all, boy, it all starts from the top. And that's why doTERRA rocks is because the top of doTERRA is, uh, I don't know, five or six people that rock. They're, the culture um, speaks loudly about um, why we are what we are and what we have become in the, sh the 10 short um, years that we've been doing this. You know, I've hugged Emily Wright's neck. I've shaken hands with Dr. Hill. And I can tell you that um, these are not just people far off in a video. These are people that want to know you and they want to hear your story. And um, that's what Bonnie and I do. We want to hear your story and we want to be a part of what you do. So it all comes down from the top, regardless of the size of your organization um, or wherever you're at, whether you're just starting and excited or if you've been doing this for a year and you, um, you know, have grown to where you have you've grown. So. I love that. I love it. And you are a perfect example of that. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So, okay. First, I have, well, I have a list of questions here, but let's go into the oils and start off with, so what are your family's favorite oils or, or supplements or, or any of the products that doTERRA has? Well, uh, my husband and I are firm believers in the lifelong vitality. Uh, my husband is a type A engineer, and so he does the same thing every day at the same time. <laughs> and he is so faith. Yes, he's I'm so happy. systematic. It's not even funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so he encourages me every morning. You know, he's taking his lifelong vitality, so I take mine too. Um, we are really big users of, of a lot of the products that you just use in a day-to-day -day basis, like shampoo and conditioner, um, the On Guard toothpaste. We have On Guard soap in all of our bathrooms. Um, when it comes to diffusing, the kids, of course, love the citruses. And, um, you know, the other night, you know, this is just a great example. My little one had kind of like a nightmare. And so she woke up and I, I went and whispered into her ear to calm her down. And I said, you know, sometimes you don't know if they're really awake when that happens. Right. Um, and so I just whispered, do you want the oils? And she said, yes. So I went and got her lavender and it rubbed it right behind her ears and on her neck. And she was able to peacefully drift back to sleep. So, you know, we, we love the top 10, you know, I mean, yeah, sure. We're going to reach for, you know, I have all of the other ones, but the top 10 are going to be my, my mainstays because they're used. I mean, I just recently went, I would say a month ago, I went through the kid's bathroom and like all this stuff we don't use. I, I was able to toss it because honestly we hadn't reached for it for a year. And I was like, well, we certainly don't need it. And you just yeah. kind of forget that you're reaching for that stuff. And that's, that's one thing I love about it. So yeah, the top 10 and just really a lot of the extra stuff that, you know, you can use. Yeah. It's like the, the give your natural um, medicine cabinet right at hand. Yeah. Grab it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you have a great story, and I just want you to share, like, but what made you want to become a, a wellness advocate with doTERRA? Yeah. That's a great question. So um, I have always loved um, being a part of something that's bigger than just me. Okay, so that's, first of all, it. I love, I'm, a, I'm an extreme extrovert. I love to be with people. And um, even though I work from home alone, um, I am with a network that spans the globe okay so I can always reach out at any minute talk to someone I can jump on a video call with people so that's one thing that drew me to doTERRA I saw this was global and that inspired me um, even though the people in my town are great I knew that it wouldn't be enough to fill that need for me to get to know a lot of people and my other goal is always to be um, here for my kids like on a field trip or when they get off the bus or you know, if they're sick, I didn't have to call in, that sort of thing. And so um, doTERRA provided that platform for me as well. Another thing you alluded to earlier was that um, I get to meet new people um, without being weird, right? So like everyone is looking for a natural solution and um, it, it's not weird for me to offer that when I'm out. But um, one of the things that really drew me to doTERRA was really this team, the people that invited me to come along and do that with them. Um, at first, I had um, there was some disbelief in my mind as far as like, can I actually teach people about oils? Because I don't really know hardly anything about them. I think they smell great. <laughs> and um, yeah, they, they smell great. But me teach a class. And I keep telling my, my own team this, you know, when I taught my first class back in February of 2017, so just over a year ago, um, I was so nervous. I read from the script. <laughs> I read from a piece of paper. And I'm like, and now I can confidently do it without the script. And that's a really beautiful thing. So, but there's nothing fancy about what I do. I don't do anything 
I didn't have to go to school to learn how to do this. I um, I just like like the gal you talked to the other day. I pull out my essential life book and I yep. tell them what they can use. So I'm no expert. I just love people and serve them well. You know, yeah. um, believing what they don't believe yet, <laughs> right? And giving them options. So um, I just tell my girls communicate effectively um, and and love well, serve well, serve hard. And um, it will come, you know, your your health wellness will come, your uh, team will grow, your customer base will grow. And really, we just want for people to um, get the benefits. You know, I love hearing a blue diamond that's in doTERRA. It all started with one drop of peppermint for her. I mean, here's the thing. When I do a class and someone experiences their first drop of peppermint and the face that they look at me, that's enough to keep me doing this until the day I the Lord takes me home. Because their eyes light up and they're like, what, is this? what was that? Right. And I'm like, this is why I do what I do. This is it. One drop. That's all it takes. And when you see that, that immediate light bulb come on, you're like, yes, that, that is what, why I do what I do. I love it. I love it, Shelly. So how has doTERRA impacted your life so far? <laughs> How has it not impacted my life? Um, you know, my kids, I think that it, it's a very much a family thing. So doTERRA is, is it permeates every bit of my family's life. So um, I never wanted to do something within my home that took me away from home. OK, um, but with doTERRA, I do go away one one night, at least one night a week to do a class. Um, and I've actually traveled once a month, every month this year. And I can tell you that when I go away, I can look my kids squarely in the eye and say, what I'm doing is worth it. What I'm doing is for our family. And you can believe that we are, daddy and I are on board with this together. And we believe that doTERRA is making a difference in people's lives. And it's making a big difference in our lives, not only financially, but also um, our wellness, right? Um, and I don't, I don't ever like to throw out, you'll never get sick or anything, but we haven't been sick, you know? We have been really, um, we have been doing really great. And the essential oils are a powerful reason for that, I believe. So how has it impacted my life? Probably by the, our belief in just what is possible, you know? Um, my husband and I have a, an amazing marriage, and I would say that it has only been strengthened as a result of doTERRA. Um, we communicate very effectively, very closely, making sure that we're on the same page. And um, it's it's been really neat. I mean, if, if I could say this, you know, we had two loans on a vehicle and this month we paid them off. And oh, that, you can say yeah. that. That's awesome. That is yeah, so, so we're debt free. I mean, aside from our, our home mortgage, um, which I would love one day to erase that, you know, we, we paid off two vehicles and um, that that's huge. The fact that I was able to write that check and, you know, our family is blessed um, to do this, to do this partner with the some of the most incredible people in the world and to uh, get to hear stories. I is it. Am I taking too much time? No. Oh. I got this incredible story um, this morning from one of my customers, um, a story of hardship that her and her family have been going through. And I'm not I'm not free to share the details, but we're talking on a deep level of hardship. And she's been using the oils. And when she sent me these pictures contrasting what it was before and what it is now, I just had tears of joy for her because this is this is something that is near to her heart. And when she uses those oils, they don't just affect them, their family physically, but they also impact them on an emotional level as well. And we we are um, we are hearing stories like this every single day from families that um, are are just really getting to grasp onto the word hope. <laughs> you know, hope is something so many people have lost. And when they see a glimmer of hope, they want more of that. They want more hope. And so they dig in deeper and they and they only get to see that. And so when I get stories like that that come to me, they really they really keep me going on on maybe the hard days because every day is not easy. So yeah, no, thanks for sharing that because I've heard that like, you know, we're doing these, these uh, highlighting, you know, series that I'm doing here. And we have seen that to be a common theme mm -hmm. that doTERRA has allowed people to dream again or to have hope. 
to think bigger than what they were thinking before. And there, you can't put a price on hope. No, and it sounds kind of cheesy, like we're doing <laughs> like an infomercial on hope, but it, it really is real, you know. Yeah. I, it is. And, and well, the, the thing is, if someone loses hope, then they're in despair. And it's really hard to, to do anything when you are in that state. So even if it's just like one little spark of hope that can change someone's life. And, and can, yeah. Yeah. And that spark of hope can come with one drop. And that's what's incredible about it. Yeah. I love it. And it's real. And so once people get in, then they'll obviously feel that experience for themselves. Otherwise, they're just listening to a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that. Okay. So you have grown a lot, a lot in the past year. Like we've talked um, personally with, um, you know, personal growth, your team. I mean, you are one of the fastest growing teams. You hit diamond. Um, you're not stopping. You're just keep growing and growing and growing. So what are your goals with doTERRA? Uh, you know, my goals with doTERRA, I mean, I can give you like a rank goal, but I can give you another goal. Um, and that is to link arms with as many women as I can yes. and take them as far as I can and take them as far as I can with me. You know, I mean, the ins and outs and days of a diamond doTERRA leader, I, I tell my sister sometimes I feel like the principal of the school, and I have happy advocates and discouraged advocates, and you have happy customers and you have discouraged customers, and I feel like my day is to communicate with them and to help them feel the best about themselves and give them the tools they need to go farther, okay? So, Sure, I would love to be a presidential diamond. Don't get me wrong. That would be amazing. But I'm looking at today, okay? What can I do today to um, help encourage my downline? And that's going to look different for all of them, okay? So some of my downline, my advocates live near me. They're within a 10 to 15 mile radius. And I have some advocates that live in another country. They don't get me there, okay? So their support is going to look a little bit different. So my goals... Um, they can change from day to day, but I would say that I do a lot of reflecting, um, leadership, taking time to just be still, thinking about people and how you can, we, we're so busy as we, you know, the busy leader is going to be the frustrated leader. Um, it's so important, I think, that we take time to step away and just sit and really reflect upon what it is we're doing and where we want to make our time count. Um, so, you know, what are my goals with doTERRA? I would love to have like 50 diamonds under me, <laughs> you know, like bring my girls with me and and inspire them. If that's getting their monthly oils for free, free health care, let's do it. Right. You want to pay off a vehicle? Let's do it. You want to see your little one's eczema go away? Let's do it. Oh, sorry. Not compliant. Their skin. <laughs> skin issue. Uh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, so and you have the big goal of, um, oh, I don't know if you're ready to talk about it yet, but you have your, your big goal of the mission work. Yes. Yeah. Thanks so much for asking about that. So, yeah, Jonathan and I have traveled overseas. Uh, we've had the um, awesome opportunity to travel overseas. We both have done missions work. Um, Jamaica, South Korea, Israel, um, Haiti, Hungary. Um, we have been all over the place. Our parents, both of our parents gave us wings to fly. OK, so it is our greatest goal to give our children the same um, opportunities. Not that you can't do missions work in your backyard. I am a firm believer that you should bloom where you're planted. So if you're not willing to reach beyond yourself in your own neighborhood, I I don't think it's really right to go 5,000 miles to do that. So I make it a make it an important um, goal of mine to teach my kids that missions is everywhere you are. Okay, whether it's opening the door for someone who can't, or, um, you know, that sort of thing. So I look to local, um, and then in your area, but then also there's a great opportunity. And it really can enlarge your even your mindset for you to travel beyond where you're at, okay, Be travel beyond your borders. Um, and so I like to think of it kind of the same way as my doTERRA business. You can impact locally, but you can also impact beyond that. And when your kids, um, it, whether or not you have kids, there can be other people that you're influential with. When they see you doing that, they often want to model that behavior. Um, more is caught than taught, I believe, with children. And when they see you doing something over and over, there's a good chance they're going to catch it, okay? 
Um, my kids have been talking lately about how excited they are to take their first airplane ride. Now they have taken airplane rides when they were babies, but they don't remember that. And so I just keep assuring them, you know what? Mom's working on it and we are gonna get to go somewhere on an airplane. Um, but yeah, missions work is near to my heart just because I feel like if you're always giving, you can't ever outgive, okay? You can't outgive God, first of all. You you just can't get, you know, I just wanna continue to live um, with open hands and to receive um, the blessings that come from that um, if and when they do come. I was raised from parents, um, my parents were kind of hippie-ish. <laughs> Sorry, mom, if you're seeing this, my parents always did what was like upstream. Right. So, so they did always what the opposite of what the normal was like life insurance. Who needs that? Um, you know, like health insurance. It's fine. We don't need it. Like they always owned their own business, own businesses. I'm not advocating for no life insurance. I have life insurance. <laughs> um, but like uh, Nikki's video that we just did because she was like, my parents were hippies. So it was just funny. <laughs> That is funny. Yeah. So my parents always own their own businesses. Um, my mom started and ran a, a school um, K through eighth grade. So I saw her start something from grassroots. Um, my dad um, started and ran what is now Anchorage, Alaska's largest downtown soup kitchen. So as a young girl, I was feeding soup to homeless people um, that didn't have food. And so this was something that I was wasn't taught necessarily, it was caught, okay? So I saw my parents modeling it, and so therefore I feel a great responsibility to model this behavior for my children as well. And I see doTERRA as being an incredible vehicle to help me achieve some of those dreams that I have for ourselves. So. I love that. And didn't you just post a picture of them like selling oils? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was actually when I, I got my enrollment kit. Um, I got I did get the diamond kit. Um, I was like, go big or go home, right? And um, I uh, was getting all of the product out. And of course, the girls were like, oh, this is great. <laughs> so they set up their little signs and they just did it within the house. But, you know, little girls love to play pretend. That's part of childhood. And I am so pleased that they want to model that. And it's funny because they also, they see me do live videos and I think it's great when they want to come stand next to me while I'm doing it. And so they, um, these are the children that are growing up seeing, seeing their moms do it. And I'm glad that it's not them seeing me, not that there's anything wrong with, um, like clothing or, uh, makeup or anything like that. I just like seeing that something, them see me selling something that is, um, something for health. That's, that's important to me. Yep. I mean, that's, you're always going to have that. Yeah. I love that. Okay, so, well, first, before we even go on the last question, I also just want to, if you can, take a minute to highlight um, some of your team, because they're doing some amazing things, and, mm -hmm. and, and Becky, too, and I just want um, to give a little shout out, because I love what you said about linking arms with sorry, getting a call. Um, amazing women, and you have done that with your team, and so I'd love for you to just give give some of them a quick shout out and yeah. highlight because they are just, we, we, we are never where we are by ourselves. It's always a team. Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely love to give a shout out. You know, of course there's not enough time to really um, talk about everyone that I would want to, but what I love about this is that I have all different personalities on my team and they're not all just like me. Um, you know, I have uh, introverted gals that um, are quieter than me. Um, I have gals that are extroverted like me. I have gals that are so creative, creatively amazing with Canva and um, those, you know, those ways of, of you know, doing that. Um, I tap into those people because I believe that we there's there's you shouldn't be doing this alone. Right. So tapping into what their um, zone of genius is, as I like to call it. You know, I mean, I have a, a really strong leg down in Virginia. That team is kicking some tail. Um, that team is led by Laurie Rowe. Um, she is a believer among believers. Um, she has some powerful oil testimonies that um, they capture so many hearts. And it's amazing to see what their precious team is doing down there. Um, I have a local gal who um, has never lived anywhere other than locally here. Her name is Amy um, Miller. And she works at a, a place where she is able to share with others um, the power of these oils. And she actually was using a doTERRA for three years before she even joined my team because she was ordering on her mom's account. <laughs> it's that beautiful. <laughs> so I don't recommend doing that. But um, yeah, so she was a free agent, as I like to call them. And she um, 
you know, she's she she has never lived anywhere but here. That's just she's she's a silver leader. OK, that's what is so beautiful about this is you don't have to have some crazy network where you've lived in five states like I have and traveled across the world. Um, and, you know, I would love to give a huge shout out to um, to my mom. You know, she works with me in doTERRA. And she has made it possible for me to do a lot of what I do. And her team is doing amazing things. Um, Brogan, Karen Gendrew, um, you know, just to name a few of those people. Um, Amanda Stewart, um, Donna in Canada, her team, they are doing incredible things up there with their make and takes. Incredibly organized and creative. Um, a commitment to long-term strategy. It really takes vision to see the long term, but when you can do that, um, doTERRA is a perfect vehicle for you. Um, you know, fast growth doesn't mean great growth. Um, slow growth doesn't mean great growth. It's just growth, right? <laughs> so I tell my team, look for those little blades of grass that are popping out from your org. Right now, they're just little blades of grass. They're gonna grow into trees and flowers and your garden is blooming. So I just keep that in, if you can keep that in perspective, your garden is blooming. It just may be at the beginning of those little sprouts. Um, the, the point is to keep um, watering those flowers because if you don't, they'll die. And nobody likes that. So planting your seeds everywhere. I love it. I love it. Okay. So what would you say to someone who's listening here who's never used essential oils before? Yeah. So, you know, I would say reach out to someone who you admire that uses doTERRA and that you feel can connect you with great resources. So, you know, try them, you know, get tell tell someone that you trust what your needs are. You know, we all have some kind of needs, even if you don't have a major health priority, there should be something that, you know, cause causes you to pause for concern. OK, and then um, talk to that person about what they are. And then if you are fortunate enough to get a sample in your hand, use it, okay? Use it and know that essential oils is an art. Um, there's not one, you know, one one shoe doesn't fit all. Is that the right word? One size, it's not one size fits all. Um, I would say that the majority of our oils are gonna help the majority of people, but it's important to know that this is a patient process and usually you'll get a wonderful experience right away, but it is definitely a process of growth and, and learning. So work with someone that you like, you know, that you like to talk to and reach out to them and um, allow them to provide you, as I say, excellent customer service, service with a smile. And that's what I'm here to do for my people. So I love that. And I put on here, um, I have your Facebook group, but why don't you tell people where they can find you? Oh, yeah. So, you know, I, I always accept friend requests at any time. Um, well, I, might ask you how you knew, how you heard about me because um and then <laughs> first and then I have a Facebook group that I use <laughs> it's called Journey because that's how I look at my essential oil life is a journey uh, we're all at a different place and we all experiencing growth at a different amount of time so I have my um, journey there and then I have a, a networking page that I like to use Network with Shelly. Um, that's just a place that I connect with different business people and talk to them about what their goals are because I always I feel very strongly in helping people to grow their business and I feel like then that will come back to me and um, I always do it with the idea that you know they may not care about what I do but I feel like I'm always helping others to grow that will be that's a good mindset I love it and so I have it here at facebook.com slash group slash PA oil journey yep that, yeah that's my group mm -hmm. so I can find you there absolutely Shelly, thanks so much for getting on. Like, I know it's been a really crazy week for you. You have a lot going on. So I really appreciate you taking the time and to be back and to share your story. And I hope someone listening here is just like the inspiration they needed to, you know, get started with oils or the business or just to maybe open up the bottle that they're already using and just start Absolutely. doing it. So uh, thank you so much. And if you guys are listening to the recording, um, listen, Please leave a comment. Shelly and I will get on here and, and um, answer it if you guys have a question. And we will be back for another video, I think, tomorrow. All right. So bye, everybody. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Have a nice day. Thank you.